And this is how you draw women's pants. First of all, you think about the style of pant you want to draw. Uh, I'm really big on high-waisted this year. So I'm going to go with a high-waisted pant. And I'm going to go with kind of a riding pant type shape. Something very skin tight. But then I'm going to give it a little kick out at the bottom. A little bit of a diagonal flare. I have her little heel sticking out. She's wearing serious platform shoes. And it depends on the style of pant that you're wanting to draw about how fluid you want to make the lines. These are kind of fitted, so there's not that much fluidity to them. But if you want, and you want to draw like an elephant style pant, which is a very wide leg pant, you can just create just different folds, etc., etc., to create your seam lines. One thing that's really important with pants is to have your front fly or whatever your closures are. So this particular pair of pants is going to have a front fly and you just basically indicate that by drawing down the center of the pant and then creating with a dotted line the stitch line that will create where the zipper will end. You then create another dotted line to show where that seam will end. You also have to think about pockets. And for this, I'm going to do just like a simple, well, it's not that simple. Everything I do is not that simple. <laughs> simple pocket that I'll call it simple. Um, that basically is built into the seam. So these right here are pockets. And to indicate where this pocket ends, you can do little dotted lines because they'll be stitched down so that your stuff doesn't fall out of your pockets. And then I'm going to put this pant with just like a skin tight turtleneck. Why not? I'll indicate the folds of the turtleneck. I know this is about pants, but you gotta, you can't just have a pair of pants sitting on a page. Do all your final touches, and then you're ready to ink this in, color it in, shade it, etc. Add texture if you like. And that is how you draw pants.